When we lovingly and willingly submit ourselves and surrender to the rule of King Jesus, and I don't mean just like a one-time decision thing, I mean a day in, on a day in and day out basis. We are then daily proclaiming, we are announcing to humankind, to the animal kingdom, to nature, to all of creation itself, we are announcing that though there are rulers and leaders in this world, there is no one greater than the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. And his rule and reign is something that's you know more than a one-time thing. It is something that we have dedicated ourselves entirely to because we recognize that this is a new way to live. This is the way to live. And this is where we're going, kind of moving forward. This is the third and final, I say maybe final in quotes, uh, of this series on the kingdom of God because as this was Jesus's primary proclamation, it will be interwoven, this message of the kingdom, throughout everything that we talk about on Mission and Formation, this channel right here. Um, and where we're headed is with this reality that I'm talking about of Jesus as being king and us living it out, what does that actually look like? A good place to start might be going to Matthew chapter 5. And reading several chapters there, uh, Jesus is what has been uh, described as or called the Sermon on the Mount. And when you read that, you get to read his rule. You get to read what it looks like very practically to live in his kingdom. And there are some very challenging things he calls us to. And as you're going through there, I would recommend being blatantly honest and be, saying, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't really like that. That's tough. Or that's very, very difficult, Jesus. And wrestling and talking to him about that and go, and I want to yield myself to this rule, but wow, man, loving my enemies, do you know what they did to me? And actually wrestling with it that way. Uh, because the next series I think is going to flow naturally from this is what does it mean to be a disciple? What does it mean to uh, have Jesus as our rabbi, Jesus as our teacher, Jesus as our king? And what does it look like then, day in and day out, to live that out? So I have thoroughly enjoyed discussing the rulership of King Jesus in this series and will continue to do so. I would invite you to, in the comments, if you've been going through this series and there's any kind of feedback, like whether something has jumped out to you, something's changed in your life, whether you disagree with something that I say, like I, hopefully let's, let's keep it nice. We can, uh, hopefully we can learn how to disagree. Well, I guess, uh, is the way I would say it. Um, but if you do like, let's challenge each other, let's grow together. Uh, let's continue to see God's rule and God's reign expand all over the world. As people like you and I say, Jesus is King and we love him dearly.